Hey, and thanks again. Once again, we're back on the field right here in Brookville. That's right, home of the Rosedale Jets. Happen to have the opportunity to stand here with the president of the organization. And uh, I got to say, I'm happy to be a part of the family again, man. You know, we started here, you know, Tyrone, our executive producer as well, you know, worked with the program, was a coach here and, and did the media program. Jacques Leandre. What's up, big dog? Oh, man, I'm just happy to be out here. Uh, another year that God has permitted us to service our children. Great, great. And I'm so happy that YSN saw it fit to come and cover our homecoming this year. Oh, well, you know, that's a family thing. How could we not do that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but tell me about the program, man. What's, what's happening? I understand there's some championships under the belt. Absolutely. In, in, in fact, we're defending two titles. Last year, we were the champs uh, in the... Uh, eight and nine year old division as well as the 13 and 14 year old division nice. and uh, those two teams are still undefeated uh, which is the midget gold as well as our senior team and our pony black team as well as our uh, midget black team are undefeated this year we're looking to finish, finish out the season strong hopefully bring two to three four even five championships home. Well, that sounds like a, I mean, you've been working hard enough and putting a lot of time and energy in this program. And uh, what, what, what would you see as a linchpin right now? Well, I, I think one of the things that we have here that is quite unique to a lot of youth sports organizations uh -huh. is the support that we get from the parents. Right, you can see that. Yeah. We have a strong team mom uh, uh, support team. We have a strong uh, 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 team dad or dad support team here. Nice. And um, uh, unlike other organizations, we actually travel to each other's games. So although my son may play on the 89 year old team, I'm going to that 13 and 14 year old kids game to support him because he's part of Rosedale. Now tell me about the coaching staff. I mean, I've seen um, some of these coaches fantastic. This is great, man. Uh, well, we have uh, about 35 coaches and all of these men, all of us, we come out here and dedicate our time and our lives to our young people to develop them. And we do it scot-free, not looking for any praise, but we're looking to help give these young people something that many of us didn't have. Now you're a community guy, so what does this mean to the community? Well, I, I, I think it's good crime fighting. Because <laughs> when you have young people in a structured environment and a structured activity, it decreases the likelihood of um, be, uh, getting involved in behavior that might not be socially acceptable. And, I mean, you and I know, we see it in the news every day, young person shot and killed, you know, primarily up the ages of a lot of these kids you cater to. What do we say to these kids when they get on this field or when they come to the Rosedale Jets? What do we say to them to keep them focused? Well, the first thing is we give them something that sometimes they don't receive in the outside world, which is respect. Okay. Um, we see these young people not as um, uh, young people that we have to give orders to, all the time, right. but as young people who have something to contribute intellectually, something to contribute to us as elders so that we can help properly guide them and better guide them. I couldn't even say it better myself. Coach, I look forward to some of the championships. Oh, I, I plan to be here, and I want my updated version of the outfits and the, uh, and the apparel. Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to go back.